Alrighty. So this is going to be a next 72 hours forecast for my Aquarius. And this is going to be for the time frame of January 31st until February 2nd. So let's get into it. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more of my readings. And if you would like a personal session with me, that information will be listed in the description. Aquarius for January 31st through the 2nd of February. Energy surrounding them. So the overall energy is the Nine of Cups in reverse. Your current energy is the Emperor. The challenge is the Eight of Cups. The advice from Spirit is the Tower. And then the outcome is the Page of Wands. Aquarius, for January 31st through the 2nd of February. Okay, and the card we have, it says balance spirituality and practicality so let's talk about this energy so the first card that we have here is the nine of cups in reverse representing the overall energy so this could be you feeling emotionally discontent with someone this could be feeling as if like for some reason you just can't get them to act right or um there may be something that happens during this time frame that you may not be to please with this could be you know somebody acting distant or weird um this could be you asking for like a raise or something and then feeling as if like your company is not really taking you serious enough um this could also be something that you wish panned out for this time frame but there may be some sort of delay in some sort of um case here yeah, for some of you, this could very well just be centered around your love life where you feel like there is a cycle where you have unfinished business with someone. And for some reason, you just, like I said, can't get them to act right. Um, some of you also keep feeling as if certain things that's going on in your life, whether this is like um, your living situation or again, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. You really don't want to have to deal with small issues that may be coming up so this could be like you being anxious and ready to you know move out of a certain apartment because it's too much drama going on there or like there's like some sort of waiting energy to get what you want and this could be kind of making you anxious in a sense um now moving on from this when it comes to your current energy i do have the emperor card so hold on this is the energy of you feeling empowered. This is also you guys focusing on getting your, your shit together, basically. Um, this is also you guys trying to have control in terms of the way that you respond to certain things um, because you may not be wanting certain people to think that they have control over you. Um, this is the energy of just mainly... you trying to put things in order in terms of your situation and trying to build a level of structure. Okay. Yeah. We have the two of cups and then we also have the seven of wands. So this is you possibly dealing with the person who you have children with, um, mother of your child, father of your child. And there could be also a level of you feeling stressed out about this individual. And like I said, trying to overcome the obstacles that you guys may have in terms of your co-parenting relationship or romantic relationship. Um, some of you, this is also your relationship with your father uh, for some of you as well. Um, but this is also you guys trying to get balance after having a lot of obstacles and issues coming up. Now, when it comes to the challenge, I do have the Eight of Cups. So this is possibly walking away. Uh, the challenge may be that it's hard for you to completely walk away from a situation, even though emotionally you're not content there. Uh, you're not really getting what you truly want. But there could be this difficult process that you're going through to, to really let that go because a part of you may be thinking that there's still an opportunity for things to flip and turn around. Um, so that could be a little bit of a struggle here. 
Um, also with this eight of cups, this could be, hmm, somebody else walking away and you could be struggling with that. Or for some of you, you want to walk away from a career, but you may feel as if you don't know which direction to go in after walking away from um, a certain career. Now the challenge is the tower. So the challenge is the structure of how either a relationship was built, like it wasn't built to last. And when I say this, this could be like the way things started off, whether this was, you know, somebody not being cooperative or somebody being in and out of the other person's life, or for some of you, even a third party situation. So it's like the foundation in which something was built was not structured right. Um, and even beyond romantic stuff, because of course some of you guys aren't dating, um, for some of you, this is just you needing to look at the areas in your life that may be unstable and how how you can shift that energy or what you need to remove out of your life so that things can be more balanced. Now, when it comes to the outcome, I do have the page of wands. So this is really good. This is you guys getting into this inspired energy, this motivated energy. Um, for some of you, there could be like some sort of new creative thing that you may be investing your energy into, or there may be some sort of new idea um, or approach or something that gets you like motivated and excited to get going. Um, for some of you as well, you may have somebody who you're going to be talking to back and forth. There may be a lot of sexual chemistry between you and this individual as well. Now, the other energy surrounding you, I do have balanced spirituality and practicality. And with this, this week is going to, or not week, the next couple of days, the next 72 hours, is going to be about you balancing your spiritual nature with your practical side. Um, for some of you, you could be a little too practical, almost to the point where you don't really fit in your spiritual um, beliefs and making sure that you're taken care of. You're, you know, how do I say this? Make it, okay. Some of you guys are too involved with like the practical side of, of living instead of really tuning into like your spiritual health as far as meditating, uh, things of that nature. Um, and for others of you, this may be you being too into your spirituality to where you need to be more practical. Um, and that could kind of show up as like being somebody who's like, hippie almost where it's like you don't really think that being spiritual is connected to having also a grip on on life and, and you know you could be a little disconnected some of you so there may be a need for a, a fair balance in this energy as well but this is what I see thank you so much for watching this I hope you enjoyed and that you took whatever you needed to take from this reading if you did, thumbs the video up, subscribe, check out the description if you want a personal, and I will see you in the next one.